What's up everyone, welcome back to another video, it's your host Trey. I am back from vacation, finally after a six day long trip to Myrtle Beach. I am back home in the Chicago area. And man, it feels good to be back. And because I went on vacation and I also hit my $3,000 goal in my bank account, I figured I'd treat myself a little bit, and by a little bit I mean a lot. And I ordered some model airplanes while I was on vacation. And I ordered these in a way that some of them would reach my house when I got back and the others would reach my house the day after I got back, which is today. I got back yesterday um, at night, so uh, yeah. Before I get into the massive unboxing, I would like to talk about my trip home. Basically, I I'm not going to make this too long. It was horrible. First, my uh, initial flights from Myrtle Beach to Chicago got delayed. Uh, it got delayed like an hour and it finally got cancelled and then we had to get tickets to the next flight which was a few at least four hours later and after waiting for four hours we find out that this flight is also delayed it gets delayed an hour so it becomes five hours delayed another hour so six hours and then delayed another hour so seven hours and we got at the airport uh, at 11 30 in the morning Myrtle Beach time and we left uh, Myrtle Beach at 9.30 at night, so we had to wait there 10 hours. I do not have the, liber the liberty to explain what we had to do to occupy our time there. It was so annoying. We had to just sit there on our phones, walk around the airport. For me, it was I was fine because I was looking at airplanes and stuff. But yeah, it was quite annoying. And I finally got home to Chicago. Uh, the flight was smooth. I flew home on a Spirit A321, and I have one here, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, it, it was pretty rough getting into Chicago because there were some storms in the area, but landing was smooth and I made it home safely. Enough chit chat, let's get into the unboxing. Well, not the unboxing, but the massive model, I guess, announcement because they're already out of their boxes. Before I start talking about the airplanes though, uh, I did buy two packs of jet bridges in order to add more gates to my wide body aircraft airport. So um, here they are. I'll post a video of an airport update once I'm done with that. And uh, yeah, I might, I'm probably going to end up with some extras, so I do intend on selling those individually later, so uh, stay tuned for that. Enough with the gates, let's talk about the models, and I do have an interesting set indeed. First, I have the NG model Delta Airlines Airbus A321 in the thank you livery, and I will go over that individually now. So it's very nice, I ordered this from the RM model store on eBay. Uh, here's the box at the front. Um the sides and the back looks pretty cool here's the model I'll give you guys a quick 360 of it uh, as you can tell there's a giant thank you on the fuselage and basically this thank you is from the airline to uh, supposedly the world's best employees and customers so it's basically airline saying thank you to its employees and customers and this model was released sometime later last year and I could have easily gotten it, but I decided not to. I decided to get a few other models instead. And I ended up regretting that decision because normally I don't buy uh, special airplane liveries, but I figured I'd buy this one because it's cool. And yeah. And the model came near flawless uh, without any issues. And I have very high expectations from NG model, but every time I get a model, it still impresses me about the quality that they have. And here you can read, it says, dedicated to the world's best employees and customers, so that's really nice. And there's a huge thank you title. The only issue that I have with this model is, uh, you can see on the engine pylon right there, um, there's a little bit of scratching for where the uh, detail is supposed to be. It's supposed to look something like this, but there is scratching instead, so that was kind of annoying. Now that I think of it, it was either scratching or just paint issues, like the paint kind of leaked or didn't finish drying and it got damaged. So that's that model. Let's move on to the next one. Next one is a model that we've seen on this channel already before, sometime last year, right around Christmas time. Um, this is the Gemini Jets Spirit Airlines Airbus A321. This was released in August of last year, and I already have one, but I bought this one because I want to do a cool modification to it. Basically, I want to swap out, uh, I want to take off these uh, IAE engines here and swap them out with the... Um, Pratt & Whitney Neo engines from the A320 Neo, or better known as New Engine Options, 
Uh, that's what the N-E-O stands for, hence the pronunciation NEO. I think that's wrong, but uh, I, I just say it that way anyway. I basically want to put the NEO engines on this A321. And that's going to create a fictional airplane because Spirit doesn't have any A321neos in their fleet. But they will in the future from what I remember, so I guess that's cool. And this model was came alright. There was a few damages here, such, a, such as the um, on the horizontal stabilizer. You can see there's a little paint fade here uh, exposing the reflective metal underneath. So that was kind of disheartening to see. And there was also some like black residue here that I had to wipe off with my finger. I had to lick my finger and then just wipe it off. So that was kind of annoying. Uh, the last one isn't very noticeable depending on the way you look at it, but... Uh, the wing flex of the main wings was very, um, was not very, but it was overdone. So now the wings are kind of pointed upwards a bit, and that's kind of annoying. But aside from that, the wheels were stiff, and I got those rolling after a few minutes. And uh, yeah, it's typical Gemini Jets quality in 2020 and 2021, so I can't complain too much either. Now the model that I clickbaited in the title, and I completely forgot to mention throughout the entire video, the custom Gemini Jets Spirit Airlines Airbus A320. For those of you that have been collecting model aircraft for a while or have done your research, you'll know that Gemini Jets released a standard Spirit Airlines Airbus A320 with the Sharklets sometime in 2017 or 2016 from when I, when I last recall. And they haven't released one since, which is kind of dumb because these models would sell out pretty quickly if Gemini Jets were smart and made some of these. And basically, with the release of the A321, which I had just shown you earlier, and the A320neo, uh, which was in... December or January of 2021, someone decided to do the modification and swap out the NEO engines with the standard IE engines from the A321. And this is what it created. And I gotta say, it's really nice. I'm glad someone did this. And this is the, I've had this modification in my mind for quite a while, except someone on eBay beat me to it. And they were selling it, so I figured, you know what, I might as well buy it. It's the only one in the world. And I now trust myself with these models, and I know I can take good care of it. And that's exactly what I intend on doing. I'm going to keep it in my collection very, for a very long time. So, it's quite cool. I'll show you guys around it really quick. It's a little tail-heavy, but it's still within reasonable margins. It's not falling over all the time like the 737s from Gemini Jets, specifically the 737-700. And the only issue I have with this is obviously the way that the uh, engines were swapped. Basically, the pylons were taken off with the engines, and that left a paint chip here. You can barely see it from there, but I'll show you guys better here, um, or try to at least. You can see here there's a pretty decently sized paint chip, which it's very hard to notice, so I'll let that pass. However, what irritates me more is the paint chips here, which I didn't just see until I didn't see until now, here, and the glue marks. Those were kind of like, ah, darn, this has that. But at the same time, what can I expect? It's a custom model, and this modification is very hard to do, especially with um, one foreign scale model aircraft. And these are quite small, so uh, I won't complain. I'm still very grateful that this exists, and I'm going to keep this for a very long time. So that's basically it for the uh, massive model unboxing, or not unboxing, but announcement. Uh, I have one more aircraft coming in, and that is the Gemini Jets Spirit Airlines Airbus A320 new engine options with the original engines. I want to have one of those models at least with just the original engines, but if the model is bad quality enough, which I, th I think the Gemini Jets A320 new engine options mold is quite bad, then I'll just like take that one and swap out the engines with this A321 and see where that gets me. Uh, but yeah... That's basically it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask that down below. The lights just died in my room, so I gotta see what that's all about. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.